So we are back. Let's talk about All Out, uh, a show that exceeded my expectations. Yes, the wrestling, the wrestling quality was good. Um, the build was awful. The build was awful. I'm going to get. I'm going to give it a full thumbs up. Yeah. I liked it a lot more than I hated, and uh, the main event was fine. So. Let's talk about our first match, which was Better Than You, Bay Bay, taking on Dark Order for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Champions. Um, it was a fun match, but they won this opportunity for a pay-per-view that Friday. Yeah. It, it was two days yep. to build something. And once again, these two had a main event match, and also they won the Tag Team Champions the week before. Yep. Literally. But no one Seven cares. Days. Hey, there we go. Yeah, and that sucks. If they had some build with this, it would be a lot better. It'd be perceived a lot better. Also, John Silver's a little dick. Right. So he's he's bad on social media too. That's the other thing. They need like somebody to handle their freaking social media because <laughs> they are awful at social media. Anyway, uh, it was a double clothesline for um, uh, better than you, baby, to win. I will give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Mm -hmm. I liked it more than I thought I was going to. But once again, it was a curtain jerker, and that is your world heavyweight champion. Samoa Joe and Keith Lee. This one was fine. I thought it was perfectly. Well, then there we go. It was perfectly acceptable. Um, Keith Lee looked like he was wearing um, parts from the uh, uh, Roswell, New Mexico crash. Ah. The, Big silver pants. Yep. It looked like a spaceship. It looked like something from Balloon Boy. Um, God, let me age myself. Uh, so Samoa Joe shoves MJF during his entrance. So I like the little subtle. This is where we're going. Yeah, and if you and, and, and obviously everyone saw the clip of of uh, Samoa Joe shoving MJF when he was an extra in the WWE. Yep, and Samoa Joe was NXT champion. Yep. So that little callback. And a little callback and then forward progression to where they're going in the future. I'm, I'm happy about that, actually. Yeah, that actually does work really well. And Samoa Joe won. He defended the Ring of Honor World Television Champion. Remember, he has that. Conquita Clutch, fine match. I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. Well, then there we have it. Anything else to add? Or was nope. it just kind of there? Yeah. Okay, uh, Darby Allen taking on Luchasaurus for the AEW TNT Champion. It was a fun match. I mm -hmm. liked it. Uh, Christian is great. I love mm -hmm. Christian and everything that he does. He just he's his, his 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 promo skills and every you know like his character development with Luchasaurus is getting really good. Oh yeah, it really is. They have they have a very interesting chemistry, mm -hmm. and it's like Christian is this asshole, but he has also this dinosaur, and I'm like him with Jungle Boy. I'm like I don't know how they're gonna redo Luchasaurus, but they 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 did it. Yeah. Luchasaurus seems like a credible monster heel, and I am 100% for it. Uh, Darby Allen continues to try to break his spine in many different ways. <laughs> but there we have it. And it was a fun match. These two have good chemistry. They actually pulled off a good match. I liked it. Uh, there was a post-match attack, and then a bunch of locker room dweebs run them off once again, posing that Luchasaurus is a major credible threat, and I am all for it. So it gets a full thumbs up yep. from me. Uh, this was probably one of the better matches of the show. Ooh, I like this match. Uh, Powerhouse Hobbs and Miro. This I liked yeah. a lot. Oh, absolutely. These two had a good match. Yep. Nice chemistry. Mm -hmm. Well-structured match. Um, people were really into it. The crowd really helped this show, by the way. I'm surprised oh, yeah. they didn't. I'm surprised they didn't hijack the show like at all. Right. But yeah, they just went there, enjoyed some wrestling, and. Fucked off. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, you couldn't have CM Punk anything. Right. But other than that, I thought the crowd actually gelled with the show pretty well, and they really had to because they were in Chicago right yeah. after CM Punk's firing. Yeah. So, uh, rocking a hard place there. But it was game over for Miro to win, but Powerhouse Hobbs did not look weak in defeat. Uh, CJ Perry has debuted. Yep. I have no idea what they're going to do with her, but her promo skills from Dynamite last week. Uh, there is an improvement, so hopefully we will continue on with Miro and CJ Perry in some way, shape, or form. Yep, and she likes some black men, though. Uh, how you're going to do that, right? How you're going to do that, I don't know, but nobody looked weak, so he gets a full thumbs up from me. Yep. The right person won, but Powerhouse did not look bad. In fact, it's actually one of his better matches. Chris Statlander and Ruby Soho for the AEW TBS champion. Oh, wait, that's right. This match did exist. So, yeah, uh, Chris Statlander defended the TBS champion three times. There we go. I, I said twice in my last segment, so I wanted to uh, clarify. Uh, it was fun. I liked it. Uh, mm -hmm. I do 
I do like uh, the uh, Tony Storm thing where she's like this prima donna old Hollywood bitch yeah. and kind of sort of with the outcast, but actually helped out Chris Statlander. Mm -hmm. And what they did after was that she almost had total amnesia about screwing over her tag team partner. So I'm like, okay, okay, I, I, I'm I'm gonna give it some I'm give it some time to develop because I'm really digging the look and I'm really digging like the crazy mm. so it really works for me. Also, I dig crazy chicks and I've always thought that Tony Storm was hot. Uh, <laughs> Juice Robinson, please don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, but it was a uh, Sunday Night Fever for Chris Satlander to retain. <clears throat> I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give an Orange Cassidy thumbs down. Yeah. It could have been a lot better, but yeah. once again, they made this match, I think, like, right before All In. Yep. Oh, Brian Danielson and Ricky Starks in a strap match. Uh, this gets two thumbs up. This was, <laughs> this was a very good match. Uh, it had to be brutal. It had oh, to be violent. Uh, and they did this in strides. Uh, this was Ricky Stark's best match by a mile. Well, you're in the ring with Brian Danielson. You're and, not going to have a bad match. And they literally made this match, I think, at um, uh, Collision, literally the day before. Mm -hmm. And somehow they managed to do this. Uh, in Ricky Stark's, what I loved most of all was that Ricky Stark's passed out. He did not tap. Right. They kept him strong. Yeah. It... it it was a great match. Yeah, it was. What did you get? Two thumbs up? Yeah. One thumb up? No, nope, two thumbs. It was it a pretty was... good match. Oh, yeah. Match of the year contender? Yeah. Maybe not there. Excuse me, but it was definitely a good match. Eddie Kingston and Katsuyori Shibata taking on Blackpool Combat Club, Castagnoli, and Utah. Eh. Really, this was just to promote uh, Claudio Castagnoli and Eddie Kingston because yep. at Grand Slam, they are actually doing a title versus title match. So, so that's, that's going to be good. Mm. Uh, but with their past experiences together, I'm surprised that they are working together. Right. And I thought it, it was fine. Um, it was a match. The ending just got all sorts of screwed up. It was an uppercut, and I think uh, Claudio really got knocked through because mm. – or not, not Claudio, excuse me. Uh, B, it was uh, Eddie Kingston that got hit with this uppercut, and I think it just knocked the wind out of Eddie Kingston yeah. because – it was like one, two, three, and people were like, stop for a second. I'm like, was that supposed to happen? Right. But yes, uh, Blackpool Combat Club won, but I think Claudio just kind of knocked uh, Eddie Kingston into the next stratosphere. So right. there you go. Uh, Kanosuke Takeshka, Kenny Omega. This was a good match. People gave it way too much praise. Yeah, it was, it was good. It wasn't great. It was good. It was good. Uh, Danielson and Stark was definitely the match of the night. Like, there was nothing that came close. Mm -hmm. And this match... But can't have the bad match with Kenny Omega. Or, at this point, Kanosuke. He's, right. he's been putting on great matches left, right, and center. And this was kind of there. It was an exposed knee strike. And it was a clean pin. Middle of the ring. Nobody looked weak. Um, you know, I, I really hope they add more people to this Don Callis thing because one person, if that's not a family, that is a person. So <laughs> That is a manager. <laughs> right, you're just essentially a manager. Uh, they are really, really trying to get Kanosuke to be that next person because keep in mind that Kenny Omega is older. Yeah. And I don't know how many matches that he's going to do at this rate. And obviously Danielson's going to be leaving here. Right. You, know, you need to get the next generation. Yeah, yeah, well, that's how you continue to succeed yep. in every single match. It's like, okay, they're looking at Ricky Starks as the future of this company. They're looking at Kanosuke Takeshka at the future of this company. And I am all for it. Both of them right. are very good. I hope they continue to strap the rocket ship to both of them. And I'm going to give it a full thumbs up. Yeah. It wasn't quite a two. It was close. It wasn't quite a two. Just because they had the match at All In, that's why you don't do two pay-per-views in that quick of uh, succinction. It's succession. Just, succession doesn't work. Anyway, uh, eight-man tag. No one cares. Uh, <laughs> uh, Bullet Club Gold taking on FTR. This was a piss break before the main event. It was. This was the uh, this was a piss break match and um, uh, Young Bucks. I. It happy that Bullet Club Gold won. It was an mm -hmm. interesting choice. It was a Blade Runner on Cash Wheeler. I think maybe that was his punishment for being a dick. Uh, 
don't point, uh, don't wave guns unless you're willing to actually shoot the gun. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, remember he was arrested for being an ass. So. Oh, that's right. Yeah, uh, they're, I think they're going to do another FTR and Young Bucks match. I literally am not interested in seeing another one, personally. I, I just don't want to see it. Uh, I'll give it an Orange Cassidy thumbs up. I'll be nice. And in our main event. Orange Cassidy versus John Moxley for the AEW International Champion. Um, it was a good match. Mm -hmm. It was a good main event. Mm -hmm. But why did there have to be so much blood? This was like the third. Because it's a John Moxley match. I, I think it was um, Orange Cassidy who bled more than John Moxley did. Oh well, it's a John Moxley match. There's gonna be blood. At least have it be no disqualification or something. You just ran into the pole and started bleeding like a stuffed pig. But you know it's what? It's a John Moxley match. Right? <laughs> like, I, I don't At this know, point like, in time, you just expect there to be blood in the John Moxley match. Yeah, no kidding. And it's going to take off a star. <laughs> I mean, if, if it was like a hardcore match or like a blood feud, I can kind of like accept it. Like with the strap match, the color was helpful because that was a no disqualification match. Right. That was going to happen. But with this, no. There was no reason other than because John Moxley has some sort of weird it's a, it's fetish towards yes, blood. He has, a, he has a blood fetish. Can somebody, like, double-check this guy's basement or something so we don't see, like, bodies? Because I feel like he would be the next Jeffrey Dahmer with all the blood that he likes. Right. Like, Jesus Christ. But Orange Cassidy, this was probably one of his better matches just storyline-wise. Yeah. I really liked how they structured it. And it was a high angle death rider for John Moxley to win the belt. Orange Cassidy's reign is done. Thank God. No kidding. But that was all out. Uh, let me know what you thought about it in the comments down below. And up next, we will be covering a very special match.